Hello, so in this video I'll show you how to make a simple WASD movement script as well as looking around with the mouse and jumping with a ground check. So I, I just have this empty scene and I created a capsule and called it player. And we'll add a rigid body so that it physics. And we'll also create a script called movement and double click it to open it in Visual Studio. So first we'll start off by creating some variables that we'll need. We'll need to reference our rigid body and we'll just call it RB. We'll also need a vector 2 for our uh, rotation, which is just like the mouse input. Uh, we'll create a public camera called cam to reference our camera. And we'll also create a public float called look sensitivity. And we'll just set it to 5 by default. And we'll also create another public float called move speed. And we'll set it to 10 by default. And so uh, in the start method, we'll set the rb equal to get component of type rigid body and in the update method uh, we'll create a vector 2 called move and we'll also create integers uh, called wasd and for each of these we'll write if the input dot get e and then here we'll write w so if we press w then we'll set the w integer to 1 else we'll set it to 0. So if you press W, the W integer is 1. If you don't, it's 0. And we'll copy and paste this for each of these. So we'll do WASD here, and these will change it, as well as for these. So below this, we'll create the uh, movement vector. So the movement.y is equal to W minus S, and the movement.x is equal to D minus A. So these will just create like a, a negative if you're going backwards, and a positive if you're going forwards, and then a positive for right and a negative for left. And now we'll get our our um, mouse input by uh, misspelled rotation. Okay. So we'll type rotation dot y is equal to input dot get axis and in here we'll write mouse x. Make sure to write it the exact same way and then end it with a semicolon. So we'll copy and paste this and change the y to an x and the x to an y. I'm not sure why I need mines to be switched but you can change them if it's not working for you. Then down here we'll set the camera dot transform dot Euler angles equal to a new vector 2 with a negative rotation dot x multiply it by the look sensitivity and transform dot Euler angles dot y make sure to not multiply this one by look sensitivity uh, it's not gonna work we're just setting it's this one to the capsule colliders so yeah and end it with a semicolon and the next line is uh, you just set the camera dot transform dot position here to um, this transform dot position so that it follows around the capsule and then we also add an offset and we'll set the this transform dot Euler angle Angles equal to a new vector 2 with 0 in the act rotation dot y in the y and multiply this by the look sensitivity so this is just looking left and right and this is for looking up and down so it only moves the camera when you're looking up and down and then only moves the capsule when you're looking left and right and the camera just follows the left and right movement that's how this works so we'll create a vector 3 this is to move it around and we'll call it um, desired direction or desired velocity and we'll set this equal to um, transform dot form transform dot transform direction and inside of this we'll add the move speed multiplied by a new vector 3 and this vector 3 is going to have move dot x 0 move dot y and end it off with a semicolon and in the next line we'll set the rb dot velocity equal to a new vector 3 and this is just going to have the the desired position dot x the desired uh velocity dot x times movement speed, and then rb dot velocity dot y and r and desired velocity dot z times movement speed end it with a semicolon and so i found that mistake just go back here and make sure you have this as plus equals so that it's constantly modifying it instead of just setting it equal to that. Now if we go back into Unity, we'll create a simple here and set the x and z scales to 10 just so it's like before and set the y value to negative below. First we need to drag the main camera into the camera slot that we have here on the script on our player and here you can also modify the movement speed and look sensitivity so you can look around with your mouse you can move with WASD, although it is pretty fast. So I'll lower this to something like 2 here and here. So yeah. And now the next step that we can do is we'll add a public float uh, called 
jump uh, and this will just set this equal to pen five actually and then down here below all of our, all of our code we'll check if we press the space button so we can do this by input dot get button down and then here you type jump and this should be set by default but if it's not you can check by going to your edit project settings and then check your input so if we press the jump button we want to jump and now we'll create this um method so type void jump open and close parentheses and then uh we'll have a, a raycast hit and then if this physics dot raycast from our current position going down hits something then we're able to jump because if if you're in the air it's not going to hit anything and make sure this is about your height uh, or half your height you can mess around with it but the, the make sure it's more than one at least for this example so i just set it to 1.2 and uh this should just have uh, the same variable name so this just adds a force going up with the force mode dot imp type um, so if you head back into unity you should be able to look around and jump but if you spam space it doesn't jump while you're in the air and so all of this is still work so another quick detail you can add is in the start method you can add these two lines and this just makes the cursor invisible so cursor dot lock state is equal to cursor lock mode lock and cursor dot visible is equal to. so if you go ahead and play again the cursor is now invisible and this is it so thanks for watching if you have any issues with anything working leave it in the comments below and i'll reply to everything i'll leave the code in the description below as well as a project download so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe and leave any other tutorials you'd like to see in the comments thanks see you in the next video